Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Accessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin dialog material using boilerplate. This is our part number 33. Inside this video session guys, we will see about delete book row from our data table list. Inside last video, we had seen about using join in query of plugin. If I back to browser, now this is all about the listing of all the created books what we have stored inside our database. Now inside this video, we will see that when we click on this delete button, so we want to delete this respective book row. Right now, nothing happens because we haven't coded for this delete button. If I back to editor, open up the file called tmpl something listing books and inside this first of all we need to give a class to the delete button so here we have delete button let's provide a class so let's say btn delete hyphen let's say book and inside this and to add one more attribute let's say data hyphen id and inside this let's say echo value and id so if i save all these changes reload this page now if i inspect this delete button so here we have respective data row id again we if we inspect for this third row and inside this we have data id equal to 3 so by the help of this class what we have specified something btn delete book by the help of this, we will make the event listener to delete this row. So if I copy this class name, open up the JavaScript file and let's say that here something let's say delete book row and inside here let's say jQuery something document on this is click event and we want that on this selector let's define about the event listener function and here first of all let's say book row underscore id and here let's say jquery this and we want to read about attr this is not attr this is data hyphen id now by the help of this attribute actually we are going to get the data row id inside this variable now next we need to define about post data so where let's say post data and after that we have to make our ajax request so if i scroll down and let's copy all these things from here or before here actually we have made about the delete book self code so I am going to copy all these codes from here, go at the top and remove this post data, pasting all the contents here. So let's say that this time this is a book row ID, so copy that. This is all about let's say delete underscore book as a parameter and this is all about the action and here we have book underscore id and this is our variable where we are getting about data id attribute after getting all these variables we are sending post data to this ajax url so for now let's copy this data let's say console.log and i'm going to return let's say false here now copy this parameter open up the admin main file scroll down and if i search for this last parameter block and uh, it should be here it is so let's say else if param equal to equal to something delete book and inside here let's say book underscore id equal to each set we have request and inside this book underscore id 
we are sending about our book row ID and it should be integer value otherwise let's say 0 so if book underscore ID greater than 0 value it means we have some value now inside this let's say by using this WPDB object we are going to call delete method inside this delete method the first parameter we need to pass about the table name so if I open about or go at the top this is our table name so copy copy the name scroll down and here I'm going to paste about the table name in the first parameter and in the second parameter defining an array and inside this array let's say that ID equal to and this is all about our book ID we are generating here about the where condition now finally let's say ego JSON in good it's an array let's say that status equal to 1 and message equal to let's say book deleted successfully now if we save all these changes back to browser Control F5 to reload this page go to console move to network tab and let's say that I'm going to delete this second row ID so I'm going to click on this delete button here we have requested and made an Ajax request click on that go to preview and book deleted successfully back to table and inside this we have the database like this click on this table underscore books and inside this if we find about the second row that is book 2 now it has been deleted from this table now again go to console book has been deleted reload this page now as we can see that successfully we have deleted that book from this data tables list as well as our database back to editor now let's see that here inside this javascript code if I remove this console.log and also we want a confirmation so let's say where confirm we are going to use called javascript confirmation box so are you sure want to delete first of all we are just going to asking about for the confirmation if user clicks on ok button this block will be executed when user clicks on ok button now if we save all these changes go here reload this page now let's say that we're going to delete this book 5 number row click on this delete button now it is asking for the confirmation if I click on cancel nothing happens again click on delete button click on ok button now as we can see that book deleted successfully click on ok now the page has been reloaded and as we can see that book has been deleted from this list now so far guys we had completed about the create book self list book self inside this list book self we had seen all about the operation of delete button create book inside this we have seen about to upload image from media library as well as list books and delete button operation in the next video we will make some visit inside this dashboard we will list where we will list about the count of created book self as well as created books inside this listing Inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.